Okay, is that an apple that's growing? Looking at the mountains too, it seems like almost all the snow has melted. stuff is almost over. Well, I saw this, I was kind of interesting. Apparently you can buy that game NBA 2K19 if anyone's interested for a little over $2 US. Wow, that's insanely cheap. Maybe wonder if it was related because of the NBA Finals and here in Canada, there's a lot of people paying more attention to it since the Toronto Raptors are in the Finals and it could be the first time ever that a Canadian team won a championship even though they technically are the only Canadian team now. We lost the basketball team here a while ago. So I guess if you're remotely interested in it, or you think it'll be a good gift, now's the time I guess. It's available on all platforms at that price. Some stuff I read today, how's this? It says, beanbag shotgun deployed to subdue man smashing windows in East Vancouver. Vancouver police have arrested a man in his 50s after an alleged window smashing spree. Police were calling to the area of East 12th Avenue and Fraser Street around 10.30 p.m. were reports of a man with a weapon breaking vehicle windshields. And according to this, to apprehend him, it says officers used a beanbag shotgun to subdue the man who was considered violent and armed and had ignored police commands. The suspect was treated in the hospital for minor injuries from beanbag rounds and cuts from broken glass. I never even knew that was a thing. Police officers carry this stuff around to take people out? I would only think they'd have the traditional stuff like obviously a gun, a baton, or maybe like a taser. But really, beanbags? That's the first time I've ever heard anything like that. And then it seems like the topic of alcohol and drones came up today, apparently in Japan. It says, drunkenly operating a drone becomes a crime under new law. People in Japan operating drones under the influence can face up to a year in prison under a new law passed Thursday that aims to control the increasingly popular devices. Drunkenly flying drones weighing more than 200 grams could also result in a fine of up to 300,000 yen after the lower house of the diet passed a new legislation following a string of accidents. So I guess one of the interesting things about that is how it's drones that are 200 grams and above, whereas in most places it's 250, so that's even more strict in many ways, huh? As well, it says, performing dangerous stunts with drones such as sharp plunges will also subject to fines up to 500,000 yen. Quote, we believe operating drones after consuming alcohol is serious as drinking and driving, a transport minister official told AFP. The rules come as Japan sees a rising amount of drone usage as well as related accidents. It's kind of funny they reference this one. It says, in 2017, an industrial sized drone was deployed at a robot festival in Ogaki Gifu Prefecture and was supposed to shower small children with sweets. But the device, operated by a qualified individual, injured six people after plunging 10 meters to the ground. Again, it's kind of interesting to use that point because it's kind of completely different I guess in terms of the type of drone and everything that was used because even it says in that case it was a qualified flyer it was basically something happened generally speaking it's okay to have precautions and stuff but at what point does it become overboard again like when it's just a toy like with the topic of basketball unless I'm wrong there's no law saying you can't play that while drunk correct I mean they could technically harm people with the ball like chuck it at people and all that so my personal worry would be, okay, what's next if you don't stop there? Like if you're just kind of regulating toys, like why not just something in general? Like with the basketball, I would imagine if you're out in public, you're intoxicated, you're swearing at everyone, like there's general laws and stuff that basically take care of that. So why can't that be the same thing here? If someone does something stupid with it, then punish them individually. Wow. 
actually lasted a lot longer than expected. Busy day tomorrow too, it seems. Alright, see you guys later.